Hey YouTube, OscarMan442 here to show you, give you an update on the 30 gallon once again. Um, I have lots of plans now. I have Anubius. I think these are red swords, the three. And then this is a, it starts with a B. I forgot how to pronounce it. It's like Beniri, something like that. Uh, Wisteria. And the A one, it's like uh, Anarch. Anarchy, anarchist, something like that. And then I have eight rainbows. I have two neons, two Madagascar, um, two turquoise, and two Australian. Right now, I don't know. I know I have a. I know the neons. There's a pair, but the other ones, I'm not sure which. What is what? Um. I'm not really sure which ones are males and which ones are females. If you can tell me how to identify each one, it'd be very helpful. That way I know what I have or if I have to get males or if to get females. I just added from Live Aquarius today, I added four uh, false Julius quarry cats. They are adapting very well. They've only been in here for like 15 minutes. so. So far, so good. There's one right there, and then another one right there. Right there. They're really small, but I don't know if it's good to have them in the tank. It was a last-minute decision. I was going to put them in, in the 55 gallon, but uh, I thought they would be better in here to help clean the tank out. Uh, let me know if they're not good to have with rainbows when they're when I'm breeding the rainbows. I don't know if it's better to leave the rainbows alone or what. So any tips you can give me on how to raise or breed rainbows, I'd love to hear it. And if there's too many plants in here, I don't know if that's why the rainbows are just all in one spot. They used to be moving around, I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. So.